This broadcast is to address what I would consider to be judicial uh, prejudice, really, against the poor people, against the people who suffer from their coping habits, if you will, like addiction. Now, they don't address gambling or sex or some of the other addictions. As much as they do the addictions to mood-altering substance, something that makes you feel differently, because you don't like the way that you feel because of a perpetual system that doesn't allow for poor people to get out of trouble as easily as people who have land or money. And it's something that really sits uneasy with minorities uh, all the way since the Revolutionary War. The uh, serfs have despised the landlords. It's an old Irish and English equation that has seemed to have stood the test of time in a lot of ways. You'll see from a post below, I have a few friends. One of them's in jail uh, for very little, probably, in comparison to the person who was released when they had uh, the 80 grams of methamphetamine and a pistol, even though that they are considered to be a weapon under disability liability to society. And I'm not going to fault them because I have understood the game for a long time. I was offered the same deal that he had where I wouldn't get in much trouble, as long as I did the uh, bidding for the people who have the money and the power and the clout to collect uh, campaign contributions is what they end up being. But I won't get into all that because I've talked about it for a number of years, uh, even been harassed because I did decline and decided to do things like this to take up my time and to try to fix uh, the mental anguish that I suffered through um, in that whole chaotic uh, quest to understand society a little better. When we take a look at the judicial system, we have to look at how the laws uh, are developed. And the way that it's supposed to work is uh, the development of the laws should evolve with situations in your demographic and be applied to your demographic as needed, uh, be it your municipality, your township, uh, your district, uh, your senate uh, will address things for your state. And then, of course, we get to the federal government uh, and how they can uh, provide guidelines uh, out there to assist the state and localities in enforcing uh, some sort of semblance uh, to chaos that could ensue. So when we take a look at things like the task force, uh, be it drugs, cigarettes, uh, you know, any type of task force that's out there now, and there's many of them, we have to first look at the rate of return. Uh, what are we getting back? for all the tax money that's being spent in a country that is uh, treading debt uh, like a drowning person would tread water. And what I would say is, not very much. <laughs> uh, we take a look at places out here, the prisons have went broke uh, from the state, and we have now contracted that out to places, uh, like for instance, in Montgomery County, we have the Monday program on Gettysburg, and the Monday program is owned by Churchill Downs, who is heavily involved in gambling, which I would consider to be a stain of society. Uh, I do enjoy horse racing, don't get me wrong, but they have other ventures out there. Uh, they have committees and subcommittees, and they're probably involved in things uh, like casinos and such, who, like I said, perpetuate things like drug activity, prostitution, and theft. Um, the director of the Monday program 
believe it or not, is the family courts judge in Warren County, James Flannery. And so you can see how there may be some uh, issues develop from uh, these committees and these businesses who are in the business of making money. And some of the ramifications uh, include some of the infractions against the laws that are supposed to be constituted out there to keep our family values in check here in Warren County. And could possibly be a feed of fish program, really, uh, for places like Iron City, uh, Monday Correctional, and different privatized prisons. And then you would have to look at uh, some of the things like Derringer or some of the suppliers out there. And I know that if we have a prisoner who's in jail who is suffering from pain, uh, let's just say they have a migraine headache, the solution is to order it through a kiosk and receive two Tylenol for $10 next Wednesday. That's pathetic. That is something that needs to be addressed uh, by these people who are in charge, like uh, Judge Flannery or Churchill Downs or uh, if need be, the United Nations Human Rights Committee. Uh, because first of all, you're asking people who are struggling financially to begin with and have coping skills uh, that are deviant to now pay $10 for things uh, that cost only a dollar in, in the outside world, and you're pillaging them. You're destroying them financially or their families that are left behind because of these addiction cycles that do not ever seem to end. As we take a look at programs out there, I don't think there's a program better than U.S. for Hope. I think it addresses things in school. I think it installs a new way of coping, a new way of biding your time, a new way of participating in positive activities a new way of sharing information, a new way of spreading hope, a way of crowdfunding and raising money, a way of networking out for babysitting for single parents that are struggling through places like churches who are the moral standard setters out there. I think we have to take a look at trying to instill equality because after all, it's justice for all. Every man created equally. And if we start to get away and deviate from our Constitution, from our Bill of Rights, and from uh, the government programs that were set forth to assist in positive building of communities, we are going to be damned into this money pit uh, that our government has participated in, and it's going broke. We're not getting better citizens back when they get out of prison. We're getting prisoners back who have better connections and more wider networks. Uh, we're getting more gangs in return, and then we turn around our communities, uh, and we get casinos plopped down uh, to uh, further destroy poor people, people who make bad decisions, like to gamble when they don't have the money to pay their bills, destroying families here in Warren County. Get serious, go ham, and vote Democrat.